now it's your final day of Write 10 Stories in 30 Days with me, Maria Franklin. Uh, welcome back and thank you so much for taking part in this 30 day challenge. Like I've mentioned before, if you've managed to uh, stay with the course and keep up with it on a day by day basis, then uh, hats off to you. You've done really, really well and I hope you've enjoyed tackling all the, the 10 different genres that we've uh, covered uh, over the duration of the 30 days. Um, so I've got another course coming up uh, shortly on uh, YouTube. It actually start will start on the night, Monday the 9th of June and it's called 10 Ways, 10 Writing Days. So do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and then you will get notified uh, when it begins. Uh, so basically it's, it's going to do like many of my courses it'll do what it says on the tin so day one will be 10 ways to generate ideas uh, day two will be 10 ways to find more time to write and we can all do with that then 10 ways to plan a story is day three and you're probably experts on that by now anyway but we can always uh, revisit some of the concepts that you've learned over these 30 days 10 ways to improve your writing space 10 ways to get to know your characters which will include new things that we haven't covered here uh, 10 ways to create an atmospheric setting 10 ways to get better as a writer and that's the exciting thing we only ever get better as writers 10 ways to edit your writing and you're experts on that as well by now 10 ways to make money from your writing don't miss that one and 10 ways to get your writing published which also covers one or two things that I haven't mentioned um, in, in the, the videos that I've talked about uh, publishing in so far so do join me for that like I say hit the subscribe uh, button so you've reached the end of your 30 day challenge so let's have a think about where you go from here so some of this links to yesterday's video so this this will actually draw together much of what I've said at some point over the the 30 day course that you've just uh, completed so firstly you could subscribe to a writing magazine um, which keeps you in the know for opportunities, events, um, submission um, opportunities and they're just an excellent source for continued learning full of articles and other writers journeys. Um, open mic and spoken word night uh, which is a chance for you to gain confidence uh, reading your work in front of a, a very engaged audience. Um, the next thing you could do, uh, your next writing step, you only need to choose one or two of these. Uh, next writing step, developing your online author platform, which we talked about yesterday. It's really essential, but you do need to give yourself plenty of, of time um, to develop at least one social media platform. Uh, a basic website and a blog, I would say, probably your minimum requisite if you're really wanting to take this forward and take yourself seriously as a writer and become published. You could attend further courses, so you can look out for workshops at literature festivals and writing days. And this is a great place to mention the online writing courses I offer. So if you pop along to my website, mariafranklund.co.uk, there are, um, there are uh, actually five courses I offer. I offer a beginner's um, introduction to creative writing. So that's just a very short 10 week course. But then I've got write a novel in a year, write your life story in a year, then there's a collection of poetry and a collection of short stories in a year, which basically is a, is a more detailed approach to what I've uh, touched on over the last 30 days in these YouTube videos. Um, so you can pop along to my website and request a free uh, first session if you would, if you're interested uh, in any of those courses. Uh, so you might even want to aim higher than that, consider, you know, like a, a open university course or a BA or even an MA in creative writing. Um, I did an MA in creative writing. It's one of the best things I've ever done for myself as a writer. I really do recommend it. Um, 
look out for literature festivals which I mentioned in yesterday's uh, video widely held in March and October packed with workshops and inspirational speakers usually I absolutely love them um, and they usually hold a competition and offer lots of networking opportunities uh, to meet and uh, get to know other writers so keep making submissions as well make a promise to yourself that you'll maybe submit something um, to uh, write away something of what you've done over this course to a magazine or a newspaper or a competition uh, you could make a commitment to do this regularly perhaps once a month but obviously keeping a record of wherever you submit to and as I've mentioned before this will build up that all-important writing CV um, you could consider having a, a manuscript or one of your stories appraised uh, professionally uh, so if you've not already um, uh, done this um, before it's uh, a great opportunity for you to really take your writing forward so you need to make sure you've got it to the best place you can yourself first um, before you submit it so you can do this as a paid service there's lots available online or you could uh, buddy up with a, another writer who's perhaps writing in a similar genre to you uh, somebody who's at a similar place in their on their along their writing journey and that that way you um, omit any cost you could consider forming or joining a, a writing group um, as I've said before writing can get lonely it's a very solitary uh, occupation so joining an established writing group is just uh, an excellent way to stay connected to other writers um, again it provides those feedback opportunities as well um, which is how we grow through critique we don't want to be told all the time yes that's great that's wonderful we need to, we need to, start to be told what isn't working so we can improve so if there isn't a writing group near you maybe start one up of your own it will soon fill up i promise you so finally, uh, formulate yourself um, three uh, smart related writing goals um, and give them uh, a deadline. Uh, so show, ensure that they're either related to your craft as a writer or to your professional development in a, uh, as a writer. So three goals, uh, smart means they need to be specific, uh, measurable, attainable, realistic and time measured. So uh, share them with me if you would like to. My email address is maria at mariafrankland.co.uk um, and I love to hear from other writers, it's the, the best part of my day or you can drop into the uh, comments box below this this video um, so um, if you haven't already do join my keep in touch list for writers um, if you pop along to my website um, a pop-up box will emerge on it and you can enter your email address into there and you'll be automatically placed on my keep in touch list and you'll get a, a free book which I've mentioned before the seven secrets to achieving your writing dreams which you're well on the way to doing so well done for taking part in this 30 day writing challenge i really hope you've enjoyed it and it's been an absolute privilege to support and and guide you along part of your journey as a writer so good luck with those uh, writing competitions and anthologies or whether you uh, decide to pull all your stories together and create your own collection if you've found a theme that runs through them do keep me posted of your success I would uh, love to hear all about it um, and good luck and uh, I will see you hopefully in June for the next uh, 10 day uh, writing challenge so bye for now